What's going on guys, Nathan here. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm gonna show you guys how to edit your gameplay, your walkthrough, your game guide, funny montages, and I'm gonna show you shortcuts so that you can do it much, much faster. Because I understand that time is crucial, especially if you have to spend four hours playing the game or stream and having to spend another four hours or even more just to edit, and that can be quite discouraging. So, and today I'm gonna simplify all of that for you, and hopefully you'll be able to to edit a lot faster so let's hop right into it all right guys you know me i am straight to the point tutorial kind of guy so right off the bat you got to determine what type of gaming video are you going to do if it's walkthrough montages guides etc and that will determine whether if you want to do this video in 24 frame per second or 60 frame per second now let's take a look at some of the gaming channel out there for example hollow his recent gameplay is in 1080p and 60 frame per second and same thing with rad brad also 1080p 60 frames per second so that is something that you want to keep in mind and check your game whether if it is pushing out 60 frames per second and check your capture card whether it can capture 60 frames per second or not and once that is done you bring your clips into resolve you can right click on your clip go to create new timeline using selected clip click on use custom settings click over to format and make sure it is 60 frames per second click create there you go so the next tip it's all got to do with your short keys so if you haven't got a chance to check out my beginner's guide to resolve and learn some of those short keys please do it now i'll link it right on top right for you and also in the description so learn the short keys and to expedite that a little bit more you want to go up to timeline and choose selection follows playhead i always have this ticked on whenever i am chopping up the clip so for example if you are doing a montage and you just want to collect all the highlights you know the kills or the one that you got killed so what you want to do is either space bar or l to play you can press L again and it will go a lot faster. One more, it will go super fast. K to stop, J to go backwards. So the key here is learn your short keys. Now I'm gonna take this another step further. Go up to DaVinci Resolve here click on keyboard customization if you know that you are always going to be using the control shift left or right bracket i highly recommend binding the start to play head and end to play head to the left and right bracket respectively without using the shift and control so right now the left bracket is on keyframe left and right is keyframe right what i would do is find the short key for this which is keyframe left and keyframe right go ahead and go in there and just delete it so what i did is i just double click on that key it will show up on the right side here and just click the x to delete it and now let's find the start to play head double click on that as you can see it's right down here and now i can click on this plus right next to it and press left bracket if you see end to play head already on here click on that plus and right bracket and you are all set and now so if you want to chop off everything before this play head just click left bracket and i want it to delete everything on the right side of this play head i can do right bracket without holding down control shift and trust me if you're editing something that's 40 minutes long walkthrough game guide whatnot and having to use your mouse and click all over the place to cut and delete etc it's better off just to learn the short keys and if you don't remember them you can always go into keyboard customization and look them up and that would speed up your editing tremendously all right so next is music and by the way this is not a sponsored video music yes it can be quite frustrating to look for the right music for your video and you could definitely use the free licensing music from youtube however you're gonna outgrow that youtube music and so the fastest way is to subscribe to a music licensing platform and i just happen to be using epidemic sounds for three and a half four years now i just love it i know there are other ones out there music bad art list you could definitely try them out but if you decided to go with epidemic sound i have a referral link in the description so feel free to check it out you have a whole month free to try out all of their music and the cool thing is they already have things in categories for you so for example we're just going to click on gaming over here and you can just click on any of them and it'll give you a list and you could just play through them and download them now one of the cool thing is say for example you pick one of the track and you really like the way it sounds it has this little button called similar and once you click on that it'll show up all the similar track either from the same artist or the same style beats etc so that is super useful when you're editing such a long video and you need multiple songs from the same artist and this is the best way to do it all right so the next one is meme now this 
can sometimes make or break your video. I'm going to show you quickly how to use memes with green screen. So you can always go on YouTube, look for meme green screen gaming. You can just type anything in with green screen. You'll get a video like this. And if you already have a converter to download, then you can go ahead and use that. For those that do not know where to go, I just stumble upon this one and I click over to the MP4, put in the link of the video and download. And that's pretty much it. Once you have it in Resolve, so say this is what I wanted to use. I can just go ahead and drag it down here. Right off the bat, when you move your mouse over, you're going to notice that that green screen is there. So what you have to do is key this green part out. Then you're going to go straight into the Fusion page. And right in here, I'm just going to rename this because I'm just that kind of a guy. And shift space bar type in key there are so many different ones in here just for the sake of this beginner's tutorial we're going to go with the delta key here add instead of clicking on this little drop you're going to take it and drag it out to the green part in the media out window this is the simplest way for you to key out the green screen and when you go back into your edit page it's right there yeah. Nice. So you want to resize, make sure you have that clip selected and just go ahead and decrease and you could even reposition the guy. And there you go. Great way to spice up your video. The next one is voiceover. There are a couple things that you want to do before you start recording. Let's jump over to the Fairlight page. And here what you want to do is create a mono track and let's just name it voiceover. And if you look on to the right side, you're going to see this mixer window and you can go ahead and pull it out right here in the input what you're going to need to do is to assign the microphone onto that input so go in here go to input since i have two microphones i can just choose one of them click on that and patch you are all set and then click on the x on top here so on the top right here you see a preview of your video you can even pop it out to see a bigger view so you can do voice over while watching your gameplay you can always pop it back in by pressing that button and in order to start recording just click r to aim it and right now as you can see the level is jumping up and down because i'm talking to it at the moment and i can just press record and this is a voiceover and you can listen to it by press play or the space bar and i can just press record and this is a voiceover so hopefully you guys can hear that in Fairlight, you can precisely reposition your voiceover as well. So wherever you are in the clip and you've decided to sort of nudge and move around the audio, you can also do that. Or you can just go back to the edit page and there is your voiceover and you can move it anywhere you want. Fairlight in Resolve is super powerful. Professionals use it to do voiceover for documentaries and many other different type of projects. You can even play around with the equalizer for your vocal. There are so many different plugins that you can play with as well, but I'm going to save that in another video. All right, guys. So one last thing in the export setting, you can choose QuickTime or MP4 is fine. H.264 for your codec. If you have a dedicated GPU, then you might want to select the appropriate encoder. Make sure that your frame rate is at 60 because we've been working with a 60 frame per second gameplay video right down in the quality section. I have it restricted to 45,000 because you want Want resolve to be the one that encode your video versus once you upload it onto YouTube and having YouTube compress your video and you don't want that everything else I keep the same and click on add render queue and just render it out there you go guys I hope this video helped you guys speed up your editing process and if this video was helpful please give it a like and share it with others if you have any questions please drop them down in the comment I would love to get some feedback from you guys and if you haven't already subscribe I make resolve tutorial color grading and help you guys have a better editing experience so on that note stay safe stay creative and I will see you all in the next video bye bye